guys, it's Derek with Panhandle Exotics. We're asked all the time if we sell finger monkeys, and the answer to that is no. It's not going to happen because there's no such thing. Um, what people are referring to is actually the common marmoset. Finger monkey is just a fake, made-up term that breeders use to add extra cuteness to this already adorable animal just to try to help increase their sales. Um, we want to make sure you know the bad as well as the good. The only nickname that I will actually agree to on these guys is a pocket pit bull. And that's because if they want to bite you because they're scared or mad, they're going to latch on. And it, although they're small, it's going to hurt. Um, they can be a great pet in the right household. However, no kids. If you have someone in your house under 17, we will not sell them to you. Uh, it's not going to end well. Chances are the animal's going to die. Um, the reason for that is kids actually carry a lot of uh, sickness. They go to school, they bring home germs, that sort of thing. Even a common cold or a fever blister can, and most of the time, will be fatal to these guys. So we just have to be really sure that they're going in an adult-only household, and as well as that, uh, an adult-only household that understands the seriousness of that. They're not something to go take out and show off to all your friends or take out in public somebody comes over and wants to see them doesn't matter you put them up they can see a picture and that's it it's not worth it you're literally gambling with their life um they are for you and your immediate family only uh another thing that the breeders don't tell you is about the smell when these guys hit maturity especially they're going to have a very very strong body odor smell you're not going to get rid of it it does not matter how much you clean they scent mark it's just part of it actually one thing that will help with their smell slightly is whenever you clean you have to leave something dirty that smells like them if not it's going to stress them out they're going to go back they're going to pee on everything and mark their spot and it's going to smell worse after you clean than it did beforehand um these guys will be about a pound as an adult roughly like a baseball their average lifespan in captivity is going to be about 12 to 14 years uh, with proper diet and care they do need a UVB light, just like you would give to a lot of reptiles and that sort of thing. Uh, it's pretty inexpensive, about 20 bucks for a bulb and 20 bucks for your fixture, so nothing in comparison with the cost of, uh, of buying the actual monkey. However, um, they do have uh, uh, dietary needs as well. A lot of people will feed them junk food, candy, things like that, just because it's cute. You can't do that. Um, they can easily get obese. Uh, obesity can be very very bad in these guys just like a person it'll cause health issues and then in addition to that they can also get diabetes very very easily so you want to stick with healthier foods uh, fresh vegetables uh, fruits things like that you give them protein source like eggs chicken turkey um, we also give monkey biscuits you can give new world primate diet there's a lot of different things for these guys they have a pretty big varied diet that you can give them uh, you just want to stick with healthier choices is all. Um, really, there's a lot I could say about these guys, but I would have to make an actual series to cover everything. There's quite a bit. The biggest thing is, yes, we do sell them, but we just want to know that you've done your research, you've taken the time to at least answer basic questions, you know their lifespan, you know what they're going to need, you're going to know like the basics of how to take care of them you've at least spent a little bit of time to Google and do some basic research on them. I'm not gonna sell you a monkey just cause it's cute and you've always wanted one. If that were the case, we would sell 10 a day and probably all of them would end up dead and we don't want that to happen. Uh, we just wanna know it's gonna be a good home and a forever home. Um, when you get one, it is gonna be a hand feeding baby. This one's hand feeding, I'll actually show you. Um, we use uh, just a good uh, people formula actually it's just um, basically it's just a uh, formula from the store you use low iron and then you'll put it into a syringe with a rubber nipple on it uh, it's basically like a squirrel nipple and it makes it a lot safer because this way you can control how much is coming out and how fast it's coming out and this will help prevent it from getting aspirated if they get aspirated it can be lethal to them very easy it'll cause an upper respiratory infection in which most cases they're gonna die so just go slow, be patient. Once they get a little bit older, you'll start introducing soft foods to them. Uh, and then once they're a little bit older, pretty much whatever, as long as it's within their normal diet. Uh, starting out, like especially at this size, they're gonna stay in a really small, like a cat or a dog carrier. And this is gonna help limit their space and also help them with their heat. You're gonna keep them on top of a heating pad that'll help keep them warm. 
when they get a little bit bigger, you'll put them into a small little flight cage, almost like you would use for a sugar glider uh, or a small bird. And then this is going to help keep them contained. Uh, and then you could start with the UVB light and the heat bulb. Um, the reason for this is they're so little, they're good. I mean, they, they run, they jump, they play, but they're not necessarily great at it yet. And it's a common thing that you'll have a healthy animal, whether it's a sugar glider or a monkey or whatever, that's dead on the bottom with a snap neck because they'll jump and they'll miss. And it's just not worth the risk. So starting out, you'll start out very, very small. <laughs> you must not be hungry. Um, but uh, you'll start out very small in the cage and then you'll just graduate to something medium and then as an adult the bigger the better but just do it slowly go in steps uh, the more you work with these guys the sweeter they're gonna be um, this guy is actually a sweetheart but he's kind of testing his limits at the moment he's starting to teeth his teeth are coming in so he's doing like little nips he's not actually biting biting but he is putting his teeth on me another thing to say about that too and another one of the many reasons they don't go out in public is if somebody gets bit or scratched, all it takes is one call. Um, it's sad to say it, but there's a lot of stupid people out there, and oh no, I got bit by a monkey, I'm gonna go to the emergency room, I hope I don't have rabies. You don't have rabies, the animal would already be dead. But unfortunately, thanks to stupid people in power, uh, health department, and things like that, you just killed your animal, you just cost it its life. It's very, very simple, uh, especially in the state of Florida, it's, did a bite or a scratch happen, yes or no? If the answer is yes, animal dies. Period, you cannot, you will not stop it. Rabies shot is not gonna save their life. It's not considered uh, as being recognized for them to be, uh, it's not considered to be something that's gonna help them like it would help a dog or a cat so they don't recognize it. So it doesn't matter if you give them a rabies shot, they're still gonna be put down. It's just not worth the risk. Anytime you have them out in public, you're gambling with their life, don't do it. Um, I can't stress that enough. I guess the biggest thing to say is just do your research, make sure they're gonna be a good fit with you and your family. If you feel they're gonna be a good fit for you guys, come by, give us a call. We're happy to pair you up and add one to your family. We just wanna know that it's gonna be a good fit for you. Um, people ask the price all the time, prices change. Prices change very fast, unfortunately, never going down. Uh, exotics like these guys have been going up a lot over the past few years, even over the past six months. Um, currently, Marmosets are 6,500. They are gonna be the cheapest primate that we work with, with the uh, exception of ringtail lemurs as well. Um, we do offer financing. You can apply for it online at our website, panhandleexotics.com, uh, if that's something you're interested in doing. And we'd just like to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, download our free app at panhandleexoticsapp.com. Thank you.